Welcome back to 92 Mesh Group. Uh, this is uh, Coach Coulthard coming to you from North Carolina. And, and tonight I thought we would talk a little bit about tags. Uh, several of you guys have sent me some messages about tagging. And, you know, we did a video the other day talking about, um, you know, the difference between a tag and, and a concept. And, and we looked at, you know, the idea that if, if a tag changes the progression is it really a tag? And I, and I would disagree. I, I would say if a tag, a tag changes a progression, then it's not a tag, it's a concept. So one of the questions that was asked to me is, you know, Coach, how do we come up with our tags? And, and so, you know, I think the most important thing you have to look at is, is do you understand coverage? And, you know, you can make coverage as complicated or simple as you would like. So many of us, uh, you know, we have, we call coverages different things, whether it's sky, cloud, you know, four, six, three, two. Um, but, you know, in general, your coverages are going to start off with, with one question, and that's the middle of the field. Is the middle of the field open or closed? And, you know, and if it's an open middle of the field, then generally it's going to be either a, a, some sort of too deep coverage from the offset, you know, and then... You know, then, you, you know, they could actually roll to a 3D. My defense, we do a lot of roll into the 3D like that um, in the system that I like to run. Uh, but, you know, generally, is, this, is, the, is the middle of the field open or closed? And then what you have to do is decide where the bubbles are in, in the defense. So, you know, let's just say we have a cover two here. You know, in the bubbles in the cover two... You know, there's going to be a bubble here, there's going to be a bubble there, there's going to be a bubble, you know, kind of, you know, over here in this area, and, and you know, somewhere, and then they're deep, deep in the middle. So, you know, you're looking for, you know, holes. Where, where are the holes at in, in, in the cover two? And, and so how do you attack those holes? And so the question that was asked is, you know, Coach, you know, I'm new to the air raid. How do I, how do I design my tags? Well, you know, what, what I like to do is, is just look at, how you want to get to a certain hole and, and if you've been influencing an area you know then then you're good to go so let, let's look at mesh for example okay let's say if we, if we run 92 all right if we run 92 right here so you know how can we tag 92 to get to an area to get to an area so let's say this safety is starting to overplay, you know, the corner. The safety is starting to overplay the corner. Or, even better, he's jumping down on the mesh. That's it. That might be even a better example. He's jumping down on the mesh. What has he now done? He has now vacated that area. So what is the best way to get him to keep responding to the mesh but attack the area he's vacated? Well, it's with a tag. And so what you can do is, to me, the easiest one would be to tag the wheel. And what we do when we tag wheel is we go Z, post, R, wheel. Okay? Z, post, R, wheel. And so now what we've done is we've used him jumping on our other play, and we've tagged Z to come and replace the area that he has been defending. So that's kind of a basic idea of how you want to tag. Um, and, and, you know, in that situation right there, that tag is created by something the coaches may see. And, and one of the things I can tell you, if you're going to be an air raid guy, you need to make sure that your assistant coaches or, you know, if you're the coordinator and the assistant coaches, they all have to have responsibilities. They can't just be there watching the game. You know, O-line guy needs to be watching the front. You know, the running back guy probably needs to be watching, you know, the, the force areas. And then, you know, the play caller, you probably needs to be watching the secondary so that you can pick up those kind of ideas and know that what those tags are. So, you know, that's one way to tag is, you know, trying to replace areas that they're leaving that you're influencing um, by your play. The other way to tag is, is kind of pre-snap. And this is more on your quarterback than it is on you. You know, your quarterback is taught, and, and if you haven't looked at I'm going to say it again, I swear I should be getting a kickback on this, but it's such a good book. If you haven't looked at Pat Taylor's Open Grass Reads, you need to look at Open Grass Reads because he talks about this a lot. 
Um, you know, the pre the pre snap progression in in four verticals. Okay, so if we're running six calls right here. The quarterback's going to look right now and notice something. He's going to notice, wow, um, the corner is way off. So he may look at X and, and you know, give him the, you know, book, hey, open it now. You know, we're going to do that right now. Because you have H is going to kind of, is going to release in here, which walls him off, and he'll throw it to X. And so that's how the pre-snap tag works is he looks over there, he sees that guy way off, he might just say, you know, give him a signal and say, hey, go ahead and run a hitch right now, and I'm going to throw it to you instead of you, you know, running the 10 yards and then getting there and then running a comeback or however you want to do that if you're reading on the run. So the tag can be based on alignment or a tag can be based on a, on the response. Um, you know, I have some favorite tags that I like. You know, down in the description, uh, uh, we'll have a link to a couple of the videos where we talk about tags. But in the comments down below, what are some of your favorite tags for the air raid? Uh, you know, I talked a little bit about mine. You know, I love I love 95X post. I love uh, stick, stick Z post. Uh, mesh wheel is another one of my favorites. But uh, how do you come up with your tags? If you do it a little bit differently, let me know down there in the, in the comments. And, and we'll look at it. Let's see if we can get uh, you know 30 likes on the video. So I know the tags is something that you guys want to talk about more. But like I said, you either tag by alignment or you tag in response to uh, the defense jumping something that you're influencing in a row. Hey, listen, I really appreciate you guys. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. If you haven't checked us out on the website, please do 92meshgroup.com. We're still running our 25% off special on the uh, on the total air raid system using code 1776 USA for the 4th of July. Um, if you haven't picked that up, check it out. It's, it's 20 you know interactive um, video presentations and about different plays you know from the air raid and, and things like that. You know from practice to championships. Um, if you're just interested in you know a certain portion of the things that we talk about, um, you can you can get smaller versions like the strategic version or the tactical version, or you can just purchase the screen game, the running game, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I put a lot of time and effort in that stuff, and these are lifetime resources for you. No different than if you were to buy a DVD or something at a clinic. Do they even make those anymore? You know, download at a clinic or something like that. So, you know, just check those out if you would. And, and, and like I said, you know, follow me on Instagram at, at – uh, at uh, 92 Mesh Group and on Twitter at, at Coach Coltharp. Hit me up if you have some ideas or if you'd like to do a video of your own and you know you don't want to run your own channel but you want to do videos. Uh, you know I'd be happy to put it on the channel for you because you know we all want to learn how to spin it to win.